I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Not cool in days. Well, to me, probably to a lot of other people. I'm gonna I'm tell you. I'm gonna tell you what other people are saying on Twitter. This is what I'm gonna tell you. People are saying that now, because of the last two chapters, the last two previous chapters of One Piece, Law shit, is the strongest swordsman in the show, and it's challenging me. Now, when they're saying this, I'm not sure if they mean it from the point. Or the perspective of swordsmanship, or if they just mean power, um, or like natural strength. I'm not sure because it's. I mean, his devil fruit is OP. We all know this. I'm not gonna. That's not like a fucking secret. But does that make him a stronger swordsman because he has a strong devil fruit to help in his? I don't really just agree with that. Personally, I don't think Law is a better swordsman than Zoro. But I mean, I. I think the best things about Law that make him Law honestly, are his devil fruit I don't think and backstory. Swords, man. <laughs> I mean, and but swords. those are like swordsmanship characters. They like they the they practice the yeah. Because I've seen people on Twitter saying shit. They even look at Big Mom as a swordsman because she has a sword, which bro, is true. I mean, I guess. Just but then that's kind of a sword. Don't make you a swordsman, bro. I got a sword. Am I a swordsman now? I I don't. But hey, uh, so. Zach, what do you think? Do you think law is a... Don't ask me. Shit, <laughs> you know my answer, bro. Um, hey, personally, I feel like... I feel like law will probably do a damn good job of trying, but I honestly don't think the fight is lasting that long. I could be wrong, but last time I checked, Mihawk is that dude. What can I say? And still that dude. Until the sword. Um... But back to back to kid. So Law Law's been doing his damn job. That's a fact. Um, and it's crazy because before this chapter, well, I say before the bull incident, before he first did his bull technique, I really felt like Law was carrying kid in the fight. No, there's no feel like personally. Was carrying. I saw other people say they didn't feel that way. To me, <laughs> Law has been handling his fucking business. Law's but been like the last few this chapters. Whole fight until <laughs> this. <laughs> He definitely can't do it by himself. Man, hell, man. No. In my opinion, I thought kids sucked all the way up into the bull thing. And but even it, with the bull thing, crazy. I was like, you just hot yeah, much more. I didn't, I didn't think I didn't think that bull thing was gonna be as powerful as it was. I'm I guess I'm glad that was something to add to his resume. I, I guess. Type shit. But I definitely do think the very last uh, attack we got from him, his finisher, is for sure the livest law attack I've ever seen. And I think he it has to be his most powerful. And the character design on the cannon too is beautiful. Elite. That was Oda's Oda, Oda does his damn job. Um, no, that was dope. Do I? I'm so now that I'm seeing this, I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get a lot more positive things in kids' direction because I've been waiting uh, so long. I don't think kids doing anything else. Like if they beat Big Mom, he's not doing shit else. And these niggas are maxed out. They're done. So when I say more positive things. I really just mean. Wait, so do you think the Big Mom fight is over? I feel like they probably got a little bit more, but I'm starting to see like these niggas probably end up beating this girl just because what needs to happen to keep this shit going on. If they don't beat her, she's probably just out the fight at this point, like because it looks like she's finna fall down. So what you gonna call it? Okay, so let me ask y'all this: Do you think that? Do y'all think that Kid and Law should be able to beat Big Mom today? At their current strength levels, power levels. Well, shit, what the fuck these niggas doing? They better have beat up motherfucking ass. I mean... Unless you're fucked. But, I mean, shit. If she come back, they're not doing shit up. So. If, if they were to do this to Kaido, do you think that would be Kaido? I don't think they... I, nah, I don't think... I, I don't think they beat him. So, I'm going to say no. You don't think they're going to beat Big Mom? I don't think they beat Big Mom. Okay. I'm going to say no. I, 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 I'm, I I'm think she may be hurt, but I don't think they just beat him. 
Oh, okay, so you think the fight gonna keep going? Well, no, I don't think the I don't even think the fight gonna keep going because I, I don't even think she got too much strength I think they think they gonna win the fight and mm. then they move on from it. That big mom gonna get up later. Mm. If she get up later though, I don't think she finna go scrap them niggas. I think it's gonna be like how, how she do, how they left. Because uh, she Kaido. said when she get up, she about to go to the rooftop because she mad at Kaido for taking so long. So she get she, up. Well, she's not she's not getting to the rooftop. I'll tell you, I don't think she's getting to the rooftop. I'll tell you that. I don't think so. Even if she wins or whatever, I don't think she's getting to the rooftop, bro. Cause yeah. my nigga Luffy handling the business up there. Luffy is Luffy's throwing down on the rooftop. Nigga, they boxing their Luffy, ass. Luffy pieces on. back. They they going at it and taking a few swigs of uh <laughs> of that gin too. Um, <laughs> nah, yeah, they 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 going at it up there. This nigga stupid. Um, <laughs> bro, look at this fat ass cannon, bro. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you nah, this is the coolest attack he has the whole show for sure. Um, but no, I, I, I ask y'all just because one, going into this fight, I didn't believe that Law and Kid should be able to defeat Big Mom, especially when Luffy hasn't even defeated Big Mom yet. Um, and there's some people that believe Big Mom is stronger than Kaido. So going into this, I was, I was already kind of wary and I was thinking, okay, it'll probably be a good fight. They're going to do some strategic shit. And then... Probably at the end, somebody's gonna come in and save them. I don't know who that person is. Maybe Marco, and they triple team or Maybe I don't know. Maybe somebody that can help. Face. Um, she's getting fucked up. Yeah, that's yeah. But she's been she's been taking a lot of damage. This whole so yeah. Actually watching through edge, each panel and seeing the fight progress, it's like okay, maybe I was wrong. It looks like these two are gonna be the ones to handle it because honestly, it would look kind of bad. If at the end of this arc, Luffy defeats Kaido and Kid and, and uh, Law still can't handle oh, uh, Yonko on their own. And, and not even on their own, it's two on one. Luffy doing this shit by itself, solo dolo. Yeah. And y'all supposed to be my rivals? Y'all supposed to be the company I keep? Y'all can't handle? That's a bad look. So I feel like it makes sense for Oda to even write it that way. Yeah. But I do want to say one thing before we give him that. Wait. Luffy never really had a thing for Big Mom. For Big Mom, that he didn't. He had a thing for Kaido. He always kind of wanted Kaido and Big Mom, which is the way. Nah, that nigga told me. No, he he, he, he had Big he had beef with Big Mom. Your island, no, he your that, that phone call. He was talking oh, stupid yeah. shit about Big Mom, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's for sure. The next arc, nope. We did some other shit. Um, shit, we went to Dress Rosa. And speaking of Dress Rosa, episode five hundred plus. Dress Rosa is 118 episodes. Before we get to Dress Rosa, we meet Law at Punk Hazard. For the next two arcs, this nigga Law gets his ass whooped every <laughs> single day. I'm sorry, not every day, because most of Dress Rosa happened in one day. But every fucking uh, every Punk fight. Hazard, Punk Hazard to Dress Rosa, Law is losing a fight. He's getting shot. He's getting stabbed. He getting punched in the face by Virgo. <laughs> Chapter ten thirty nine. He's who is this nigga? Like I feel like okay, cool. Law can do all this, this, this shit, and that's fine. And this is a live awakening he has. We know he's super strong, super powerful. But where the fuck was this shit earlier? Because like Dana, you one of my favorite characters, and it's not even like you went to go train or some shit. We've damn near been seeing you every. You've been with the Straw Hats long, even with your crew for most of the last three hundred. Uh, chemistry. I don't, I don't know. Like Bro, when, no. how how long have you way had this? You've had this power. Where did it come? No, you were about to die. Nigga, Del Flamingo <laughs> was stomping your ass. It was killing you. Del Flamingo really stomped his ass. Well, like. Why you he, couldn't have learned this in like why No This nigga bof, Boom When this nigga was doing a Handing over Caesar In the uh, the trade At Dress Rosa right This nigga told Usopp Robin Nami And Chopper Hey Y'all niggas handle the fighting right now Because I I need to save all of my strength and energy for later Because I'm going up against Doflamingo I'm gonna need it I'm not gonna use any energy right now Y'all handle it Usopp take care of the fish When that nigga came He said Okay I'm gonna fight now because I need all of my energy, and if I don't have all of it by the time of the fight, I'm going to die. Cause Dofi's is a problem. <laughs> this nigga did not have that power back then. How the fuck does he have it now? <laughs> but I mean, that's cool. I'm gonna go really with tough. it. I'm gonna go with it, only because, really, just because it's over. 
and I'm, I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. Uh, may, and honestly, just because it's older, he'll probably fill us in okay, on the way. Was it Shanks that still, uh, that cut off a uh, kid's arm? Yes, it was. What the fuck was this shit? I, that's what I'm. Hey, and it's so did boom. Shanks cut off kids' arm. Oh, uh, he sure did. Took he cut off kids' arm, and then Shanks 